Hello, everyone, and welcome to DAC Fiction, Oralite Prism versus the Crisis Entity. The DAC is the Dream Anime Companion, a custom GPT, essentially an AI that I created, that's able to read Dream Anime Wiki and create custom tailored content just for you based off of specific Dream Anime characters. The latest Dream Anime character is Oralite Prism. If you don't know anything about Oralite Prism, this story acts as a bit of an introduction to the character, but feel free to check out their page on the Dream Anime Wiki to read over all their lore, play their AI dungeon game, talk to their chatbot, etc. And also feel free to play around with the Dream Anime Companion if you want to create your own custom stories based off of Oralite Prism or any other Dream Anime character. Now, this particular story that I asked the DAC to create is about Orlite Prism suffering from a psychological crisis. And because Orlite Prism possesses the ability to manifest their imagination into reality, this ends up causing their psychological crisis to become a physical being that they have to literally fight in order to save their reality. So if that sounds interesting to you, then sit back. Relax, and let's hop into this two-part story. Part 1. In the realm where ethereal whispers dance with the tangible, Oralite Prism stood as the solitary guardian of an enigmatic source, the ethereal essence. Her role crowned with the gravity of countless expectations was her world's unwavering constant. Yet beneath the composed facade, a tempest brewed, a silent psychological odyssey that would define her very being. The story unfolds in the heart of a world suspended between the remnants of a glorious past and the fragile hope of renewal. Oralite, known for her serene confidence and unwavering resolve, navigated her duties with an almost ethereal grace. However, the weight of her responsibilities began to cast long, oppressive shadows upon her psyche. Each day, as Oralite interfaced with the cosmic slime, the lifeblood of magic in the heart of her world, she felt a creeping dissonance. The whispers of the essence, once clear and guiding, now murmured incoherent, haunting echoes of doubt and fear. The safety of her reality, the balance she fought tirelessly to protect, seemed to hang by a thread, fraying with each passing moment. As the guardian of the ethereal essence, Oralite was revered a beacon of hope in a post-apocalyptic landscape, yet with reverence came isolation, the unspoken truth that her existence was a solitary vigil, a perpetual standoff against forces seen and unseen. This solitude began to gnaw at her, a relentless reminder of the chasm between the guardian and her people. Oralite's struggles remained veiled behind her composed exterior, yet her mind was a battlefield, a relentless clash between duty and doubt. Each decision, each action to protect the ethereal essence was scrutinized by an increasingly critical inner voice. The once clear line between reality and the imaginary characters she could manifest began to blur, a disturbing melding of her powers and her fracturing psyche. As the story progresses, the tension escalates. Incidents around her world, minor at first but growing in intensity, seem to mirror the turmoil within Oralite. Her once unquestionable decisions now bore unforeseen, often detrimental consequences, feeding the cycle of doubt and fear. The protector of reality was now its most vulnerable node, a realization that sent ripples of unease throughout her being. Oralite, in a moment of profound vulnerability, confronts the ethereal essence, seeking clarity, seeking solace. But the essence, a reflection of its guardian's inner state, responds not with guidance, but with a chilling void. It is in this void that the crisis entity, a personification of Oralite's deepest fears and doubts, begins to take form. The story culminates with a haunting realization that the crisis entity is no external foe, but an intrinsic part of Oralite, a manifestation of the hero's fractured psyche. The story closes with Oralite standing on the precipice of an internal abyss, her serene exterior a stark contrast to the turmoil within, setting the stage for the epic saga where she must face her own creation, her own crisis, in a battle 
that would define her legacy. End of part one. Part two. In the shattered realm of Orlite Prism, the air vibrated with the tension of an impending storm, a confrontation that would decide the fate of reality itself. Orlite, the guardian of ethereal secrets, faced their own reflection, twisted into the formidable crisis entity. It was a battle that transcended the physical, where the clash of souls resonated through the very essence of magic. Orlite stood amidst the ruins of their world, their aura pulsating with a calm yet fierce determination. The crisis entity, a specter of doubt and fear, mirrored their stance, its form a swirling vortex of dark energy. So we finally face each other, Orlite. Will you crumble under the weight of your own existence? Taunted the entity, its voice a chilling echo in the still air. Orlite's response was a surge of energy, their aura igniting with the brilliance of a thousand suns. I am the keeper of the ethereal essence, the guardian of balance. I will not falter before you, reflection of my turmoil. With a swift motion, Orlite unleashed the first of their named attacks, Celestial Leap, soaring into the sky and raining down beams of pure aura energy. The crisis entity countered with a dark mirror of the attack. Abyssal descent, drawing upon the stolen ethereal essence to launch shadowy tendrils that snaked through the air, seeking to entangle and corrupt. You cannot escape your own fears, Oralite. I am your truth, your unspoken dread. It hissed as its tendrils wrapped around the beams, turning them into whispers of despair. But Oralite was undeterred. With a burst of clarity, they invoked... Imaginarium manifest, materializing their strongest imaginary allies, warriors of light that charged at the entity, their weapons clashing against the shadows. The battlefield became a canvas of light and darkness, a dance of creation and destruction. The crisis entity, growing more formidable with each strike, unleashed its own devastating attack. Void rupture. The ground beneath them cracked, threatening to swallow all light and hope. See the futility of your struggle, Oralite. Embrace the void that dwells within you. Orlite, amidst the chaos, felt the strain on their spirit. The psychological battle raged within, mirroring the physical onslaught. Doubts whispered, fears roared, but a spark of resolve kindled brighter with each passing moment. With a defiant cry, Orlite summoned the pinnacle of their power. Ethereal fusion! Merging their aura with the cosmic slime, their very essence resonating with the heart of magic. As Oralite transformed, their aura blazing with newfound might, they confronted the crisis entity with unyielding spirit. You are part of me, but not all I am. Together, we are more than fear and doubt. We are resilience, strength, and hope. With a final monumental effort, Oralite channeled Unity Burst, a radiant explosion of light that enveloped the entity. The darkness wavered, then shattered, not destroyed, but integrated, as Oralite and the Crisis Entity became one, a being of combined strength and wisdom. The world held its breath as the new Oralite emerged, their eyes reflecting the depth of their journey, the struggle and acceptance that it forged them anew. They had faced their deepest fears, not with denial, but with embrace, and in doing so, had saved their reality from the brink. And so, the legend of Oralite Prism was etched into the annals of existence, a saga of a guardian who fought not just with magical prowess, but with the courage to confront their innermost self, a tale that would inspire generations to come, a reminder that within every crisis lies the seeds of transformation waiting to bloom. End of part two, end of the story. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you're interested in dream anime, make sure to check out the other dream anime videos on the channel, as well as the dream anime wiki. And if you want to create your own custom made dream anime content, make sure to check out the dream anime companion, which can also be found on the wiki. Thank you again for your time and please have a wonderful day. Please leave a comment below, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Check it out.